Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make the Here and Now. Great flavor-packed cocktail. Yeah, very rich and perfumey. Yep. We designed it to go around our tonka bean syrup. Yeah, and uh, we have a video on how to make that. Not very difficult. Yeah, that gives you sort of the vanilla, allspice, dried fruit notes mm -hmm. from these very aromatic tonka beans. Right. Right. You pair that with kind of the spicy uh, notes from the rye. Mm -hmm. And the very perfuminess of the chartreuse. Right. And then Angostura, a half ounce, and that gives you your sort of Christmas spicy notes. Exactly. And you want to dab some of this behind your ear, it's so perfumey. <laughs> right. But it's not terrible to drink, like <laughs> if you would pick up a glass of Chanel, Chanel No. 5, right. right? This is good to go down your mouth. This is excellent. Very yeah. good drink. Everything goes right into our cocktail shaker. We're going to start with two ounces of rye. We'll actually do that in a mixing glass. Yes. Okay. Thank goodness you're here, Phil. I know. Now we're screwing things up. <laughs> you want to shoot for a 90 proof rye. We're using this Sazerac. There you go. 18 year old. Mainly because the bottle is about empty and we kind of want to finish it off so we mm -hmm. can replace it, right? But it's very good rye as well. Yeah, it is good. And then a half ounce of both the green chartreuse and the Angostura bitters. Is that your wrist there? You should get that checked no out. No matter how, you know how fastidious I am about <laughs> sticky things. No matter how well we clean that off every time, <laughs> that cap still sticks. Irritates me to no end. There you go. It's those French, you know. <laughs> how can we annoy the Americans? That's what they're always thinking. <laughs> right. They did it on purpose. Half ounce of Angostura bitters. And we have a couple cocktails that use like way more than a dash of Angostura bitters. Mm -hmm. You can check all those out. Yeah, Angostura sour, it's Trinidad sour, right? Yeah. Those aren't original to us, but it's kind of cool using large quantities of things that you normally only use a dash of, right? Mm -hmm. It scares Definitely. people out, but they're delightful. <laughs> One quarter ounce of the Tonka syrup. Tonka beans grow, it's a seed from a flowering bush. Right from South America. Mm -hmm. Just flavor packed beans that just perfume the whole studio, right? That's right. So then we're going to add ice to this and then stir it to chill. I noticed you were very cautious about the ice there, Phil, because you didn't want to be wearing Angostura. <laughs> I didn't. You get Angostura on you, it's like it's there forever. Yep. I'll just have to throw the shirt out. When I went for my colonoscopy, the doctor said, you know, no red liquids, you know, for 24 hours beforehand. I'm thinking like, all right, <laughs> I'm swearing off Angostura for a month because right. that stuff is going to stay in your colon like who knows what. Right? There's probably some medical paper about that. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to put this in a Nick and Laura glass, you can serve it in a coupe glass or whatever you have handy. You're going to grate a little bit of fresh tonka bean on top. And here you have your flavor packed, yet very perfumey, delicious, here and now. Enjoy. Cheers.